Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are eating this spaghetti classics kit that was in my pantry. And I discovered this a few months ago. I actually did a video on easy um, grocery store dinner kits and this was one that I tried for the first time and fell in love with it. I'll link it in the description box so you can check it out. Um, but we're having that and it comes with the, um, the pasta, it comes with Parmesan cheese and a spice mix and you just add tomato paste and meat if you'd like. So I did add some ground beef to this and I'm serving it with a side salad. And this is a side salad that I am using. And it's actually pretty good. I didn't realize it has bacon in there, but it's very tasty. And for the garlic bread, I am using some hot dog buns. I just put some butter on there and then I threw, the, threw it in my air fryer. And so quick and easy dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having this shrimp and corn bisque. I had it in my pantry and needed to use it up. I have made this bisque before and it is very, very good. Really easy to make. Let me flip it over. So that's all you need to make it, which is half and half milk, um, shrimp and cream corn and whole corn. And then you just um, cook it in a large pot and it's ready in 45 minutes and it is really good. I have found this at Kroger and I've also seen it at Walmart before. And I think it's like three something a box, I can't remember. But anyway, it's very good. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having a meal from Trader Joe's. We are having this butter lettuce salad kit with uh, Parmesan cheese, croissant croutons, and ranch vinaigrette. Trying it out for the very first time. Here it is in the bowl. And then we are having one of our favorites, which is this tart from Trader Joe's. It has a uh, Gruyere cheese, caramelized onion, and ham. I will say this is a pretty small tart. It's big enough for one person, but if more than one person is eating it, you definitely gotta add something to it, which is why we are having this salad. And I kind of overcooked it a little bit, but it is still going to be absolutely delicious. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, quick and easy dinner tonight, using up some stuff that I had in my pantry and freezer. I have this sausage in my freezer. I am going to slice it up. I'm gonna toss it with some barbecue sauce, sprinkle some brown sugar on top, and I am going to bake it in this little casserole dish. I'm gonna saute some broccoli, and then I am going to make, make this box of Spirals macaroni and cheese. Okay, so if I had to guess, I'd say I used about a half a cup of barbecue sauce and then probably like a tablespoon or so of brown sugar. I'm gonna pop this in the oven at 350 until it starts to get like um, caramelized and all bubbly. So I would think about 20, 25 minutes or so. Okay, so I ended up baking the sausage for about half an hour. But this is our quick and easy dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having grilled pork steaks. My aunt is in town visiting, so we are eating family style tonight. So the pork steaks are back here. We have a spicy pork steak and just a regular pork steak. So we are using this Korean spicy marinade for the spicy ones, and then this one for the, um, for the non-spicy ones. These are the ones that we use all the time. And then I stir fried some green beans. I am using these that I pick up at um, Aldi, but they also have a similar one at Trader Joe's. I just added in some garlic and then I seasoned them with this seasoning, which I really like a lot. And then I also made some fried rice and the fried rice one um, seasoning is one that I've used before as well. Um, I get it at H Mart, which is an Asian grocery store, and it comes with three little packets, and this is what the packet looks like. So I just added some green onions, and then I sprinkled that in and just uh, stir-fried it, and I did use day-old rice. So I cooked it yesterday, 
put it in the fridge and here it is. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.